let's get to it. If this is your first time hearing about the Web Dev Kit, then the first thing you should know is that the Web Dev Kit allows you to customize Squarely SEO and install it on your client's sites. We've created the Web Dev Kit for co-branding capabilities, but also as a big request from agencies and developers who really wanted to offer their customers the absolute best, while also being able to install the plugin and monitor the clients from a single account. Now, it's important to note that the Web Dev Kit is not a white label solution. As I already mentioned, it is meant to provide co-branding capabilities, meaning partial customization options. Using the Web Dev Kit, you can give your clients a customized version of a premium SEO plugin that would cost many thousands of dollars and years to develop if it was exclusive. The purpose of the Web Dev Kit is to help agencies with creating interesting customizations for their clients, remove their access for the cloud app, make easy pre-configured zip files to customize the Squarely SEO experience for end users, remove client access when the end user is no longer a client, and mainly to be able to easily manage the installs for their clients. The Web Dev Kit is created for developers and agencies and enables you to customize the plugin, limit end user access to Squarely SEO functionality, as well as remove the option for the user to perform certain actions. This is done by enabling or disabling different settings via a dedicated customization panel. Let's take a quick look at how it all works. Once you activate the Web Dev Kit for your account, you will be able to access the panel with all the available customization options from your Squarely SEO Cloud account. You are now looking at the Web Dev Kit customization panel. The next step is to go through every item listed inside this panel and customize by enabling or disabling options based on your preferences and needs for that particular client or project. We will go through some of the key items listed in the customization panel later on in this presentation. You enable an option by sliding the toggle right and disable it by sliding it left. With your desired configuration saved and the Squarely SEO plugin customized, you can go to the download section and click on the download button shown here. Clicking on the download button will initiate the download process and you can simply save the zip file to your computer. The final step is to manually upload Squarely SEO, the customized zip file, to your client's website. The downloaded plugin will reflect all the configurations you've made within the Web Dev Kit customization panel. End users will be able to start using Squarely SEO without having to create or log in to any account. Your zip file will take care of that. It's also important to note this. Once you add Squarely SEO to a client site, it's connected to a normal branch. What this means is, once you've added a zip file to one of your clients, you don't need to re-upload the zip file when there is an updated version available. After you upload the zip file, you can receive updates via the WordPress backend. This is done automatically. So you will be able to update the plugin to the latest version directly without reinstalling the zip. I also want to mention that using the Web Dev Kit, you are able to set these settings individually for each project or client, as you can have multiple zip files that you can generate and install. This is great because it gives you a lot of flexibility to configure Squarely SEO differently based on each project or customer. There are a lot of settings that you can make using the Web Dev Kit in order to customize the way your customers see our product. Here are some examples. Using the Web Dev Kit, you can customize the logo that appears alongside the Squarely SEO plugin. All you need to do is place the custom logo you want in the section you see now on your screen. Just add a link to the image you want to use, and once you save the settings and install the zip file on a client's site, they will see your custom logo. You can see an example of that on your screen now. Another cool option is the one that enables you to remove end-user access to your account info details. Having this option turned off means you will no longer have to worry that your clients will see your account information, which includes plan information and email address connected to the account. You can also customize the text that appear for all success types of messages inside the SEO audit. For example, you can use this option to place buttons or a call to action to schedule calls with your company for further website enhancement contracts right inside the SEO audit from Squarely. You can also customize all the texts that appear inside the Squarely SEO audit for tasks that require attention. For example, you can add a text like, need help with this issue, contact us and we'll help you fix this. 
It's important to mention that inside the SEO audit, red indicates problems. So, placing a call to action for the client to reach out to you for help to solve that problem can be a great way to attract repeat customers. We also have an entire section inside the Web Dev Kit customization panel, which allows you to limit end user access to Squarely SEO functionality. For example, if you want to limit end user access to the research section of Squarely, you should disable the show research link. You can also limit end user access to the focus pages feature, the SEO audit, the rankings, and much more. The Web Dev Kit also makes it easy to customize the Squarely settings by activating the desired features. These are just a few of the settings that you can do using the Web Dev Kit. For the complete list, you can go to our knowledge base and search for an article called Web Dev Kit or Plugin Customization Options Explained. The final benefit I want to mention before we close up this session is that using the Web Dev Kit, allows you to completely remove end user access to your Cloud Squarely SEO app. This means you will no longer have to worry that your clients will be able to reach the login page to your Cloud account. You will be able to safely manage all websites connected to your account directly from the Cloud app, knowing that no one else will be able to access your account information or see a list with the other customers that your agency serves. And with that, we've reached the end of this session. I want to thank you for your time today and encourage you to ask any questions that you may still have in the chat section.